What's up guys? In this one we are asked to find the maximum likelihood estimate of the parameter pi. In order to solve these problems, you're going to use the following steps. So this is the first step. You're going to get this one from going to 1 up to maximum amount of elements, which is 8. And you're going to use the expression inside, so 1 minus pi. 1 minus x. In order to use this, this is how you work it. Every time that you have an x, it changes to a summation. So this is how this works. So pi equals a summation from 1 to 8. And I'm going to get it x, y, because it's from 1 to 8. And this counts as a number of successes. And I will explain to you in a bit what this means. So this is 1 minus pi, so this is the number of failures. 1 minus, and again, 1 over 8, x, x, y. And now we need to do an additional step here, because we have 8 elements of which you have a certain amount of successes and a certain amount of failures. And because we are doing an estimation, a maximum likelihood estimation, you're going to need to have the successes on one end and the failures on the other end. So what we do here essentially is count these up. So we have one, two, three, four, and five successes. So what this means is the maximum value that enters here is five. And on this guy, it's the total amount of failures. So we have times one minus pi. And the total amount of failures that we have here is the remainder. So it's one, two, three. So this is what we have here. Second step is to use a logarithm. So this is how this works. So you ln this one and use the property. So ln of this, you have an exponent, so this comes down. So you have five ln of pi plus 3, so this comes down again, ln 1 minus pi. The third step is to differentiate this in terms of 0. This is how this works. So L of parameter and equal to 0. Remember that any time that you are doing these types of calculations, any time that you get it equals to 0, now you have to have the hat here. So this is how this works. So by using the properties of the derivative, you have 5 over the parameter, remember the hat, plus, no, notice this one. Anytime that you have this, you got to make a pause and do some auxiliary calculations. So because this is u, and the logarithm, the derivative of a logarithm, let's say in terms of x, of ln of x, is the derivative of this one, let's say it's call it u, so it's u over u. And in our specific situation, u equals to 1 minus pi. So the derivative of 1 minus pi in terms of pi is equal to minus 1. So this is minus 1. We have 3 here. So this is minus 3 divided by the whole thing equals to 0. So this is our expression. So now we concluded by just changing the terms around in order to get this to like get this value just w on one side. So we have 5 pi equals to 3, 1 minus pi. You can get this guy over this side and this guy to this other side. So you have 5, 1 minus pi equals to 3 pi. You're going to use the distributive property here. So you get 5 minus 5 pi equals to 3 pi. Get this guy to this side, so you're going to get 5 equals to 8 pi. So you're going to get this guy to this side, and your final answer is that this parameter is 5 over 8. And it makes sense because when you look at it, you have 5 successes over a total of the Randall sample size 8.